Carlo said somebody was asking about the nigga word. Serious, serious question. Serious question. How you feel about the nigga word? Oh, how how do you, how you feel about how you feel about the word nigga? How is it being referred to you from your homeboys? And how do you feel about even a white person using the word nigga? Not necessarily towards you, or just using the word period. Well, how do you feel about it? Well, to me, like I have never been big on race to get mad of anybody called or use the word nigga. You know, like that's just me. You know, I'm not saying everybody else has that opinion or. I'm not saying everybody's opinion should be like mine. I'm just saying, like, growing up, you know, I was never a big deal. Like, you know, to me, slavery, you know, it happened or whatever, you know, and uh, we have become better people because of it. You know, like, everything, ha- everything happened for a reason. You know, and that's how I feel. Like, you know, like, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for slavery, you know. Not saying it was bad, not saying it was good, but the whole nigga thing, it's like, I mean, it was it was used in a, in a bad term, and now in in the sense we used it at we switched it into a term of endearment, you know, like on some, right. on some urban political, you know, like you know, you my nigga, that's like a term of endearment, like right. you my brother, you know, it's whatever, you know, we're going through everything together. So you know, so you like, so you're not offended if a white person say, no, you know, what's I up, mean, my nigga, or, know, or I mean, even use the word at all. I mean, because I know some white people, I, even I know some Arabic people on that matter, or some Chaldeans or Mexicans who says the word, and it's like it's not offended to me because I feel like you know. It's, in that sense, it's the term in the dear man, like Bobo, you know, Bo Young. I say he my nigga all the time, you know. Yeah. And there's a big times we even said it, you know. We just know it ain't no like, oh, I hate niggers, KKK type shit, you know. Like, it's the way in which people say it. Yeah, man, like, I don't know. Everybody my nigga, whether you white, black, Mexican, whatever, you know what I'm saying. I went to high school with, with a whole bunch of Mexicans, white people, you know what I'm saying. Shit, and my nigga, you know, like that, it really don't matter to me. I, it, it, if you know me, I probably use the nigga word for like a thousand times. Hey, you done got better at it though. Real talk, you, you know, yeah. I probably use the nigga word for a thousand times. Say, but it, to me, it's just a word on the film, you know. Yes, sir. So, I mean, you really don't got no meaning to me like that. Like you? I say though, it's all in the perception. Because it can it can be, or it can't be. You know, it's truly in the perception. Because I'm mixed. I got yeah, my mom and my dad black, but they're mixed as well. But this one, this one. Turn it down, turn it down. My mom, my dad, you know, they, they both were mixed. I come from a family where I got white people, you know what I'm saying? Devil mulatto, son. I got I got family people. I got family who I claim my, as my cousins. They all mixed. They mom white, dad black. So it, it's crazy that people take it the wrong way. Because of what it was back then, I understand what it was back then, and I understand how it all started, and I understand that we should, and our on the inside, have a little problem with it being used so freely. But then when you think about what Kay said, it's a term of endearment. If that's the word, well, I didn't say that's the word you want to use, but if that's the word that makes people feel comfortable with you, and you can use that, and people feel like they're family from that word, then that's what you use to be family. It's like females use the bitch word all the time towards each other. I, I for one, can't stand that word. Don't call me a bitch ever in your life. But I'm just saying, if that's what they feel that makes them comfortable with each other, then you cannot look down on them just because they use it. True. Okay. So, it, it's just the way some people take it too far. Words only have power. If, if you give them you power. Give them power. Yeah. My, thing, my thing about the word nigga is like, all right, back in the day, the word had so much power, and by like it being more common, we done took the power away from the word. So it's just like a term of endearment. Now it's no more of a, it's like, a, like not a, it's yeah. not a racial slur anymore because of the fact like once you give it that title of a racial slur, you're giving those people who use it in that manner power. Damn. That's a, you, you just you just regurgitated something that was already said. Yeah, you know, and you weren't even in here. You weren't even in here. So you it has to have some truth to it. Because you just said it that you're the third person that said that. Just now, you know what I'm saying? It has to have some, some truth to it. I, I guess so. Maybe we did take the the sting or the power off of it, you know what I'm saying? In the mm-hmm. sense that I guess in any situation, and this is without referring to the word nigga or nigger. Nobody just wants to be whole, you know what I'm saying? Nobody just wants to be, you know what I'm saying, put out there in the sense where you belittle. You know what I'm saying? And 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 a black person can call you a nigga. You ain't there ain't no offense to it at all. But a black person can say some shit to you that'll make you mad. You know what I mean? And, and, and the word nigga could be any like I could 
find the old person or whatever. And it's just the way that he like says it, you know, because he, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, you know that he's been around, you know, when the word was used in a bad way. So, you know, if he's saying it, you know, in some shape or form or way, you know, he's saying it from back in the 1960s, you know, not in the term in which we saying it now, you know, like, not in right. the term with them. He could say, like, you ignorant nigga. And then it's like, damn, you know, like, it's like, from coming from him, it's like, you know, knowing that he's been back, you know, back there, you know, it has been, you know, with the segregation and everything. He's just, you know. I can't explain it. It's like it has more weight on it, you know, than, you know, saying. So it's different for an old person to say it than a young person to you? Yeah, to me, because it has, mm-hmm. when they say it, it doesn't have meaning, but it's like they've been back there in those times, and the, the context in which they say it might not be the same way. Yeah, the same way we say it, you know, because we might say, you know, oh, this my nigga, this my nigga, but, uh, you know, an old dude might, you know, he might feel disrespected, as, you know, or so. But you don't think that he changed with the times just as we have? I mean, just as the word changed and the way it's used or the way it's, um, the perspective or the reflection of the word has changed. An uh, old person who used to call niggas niggas because he felt like calling a nigga a nigga, he couldn't have changed with it. A lot of y'all know my homeboy Ken, white boy. And that's funny, this dude talked about using the word white boy. But we're going to get to that in a minute. He told me that his pops was a racist back in the day, you know what I'm saying? So he ain't really had no like no black friends and stuff before me. Yeah. And some of the stuff that he was kind of taught, you know what I'm saying, wasn't necessarily true, of course, you know what I'm saying? And we said, we talked about it a little bit, you know, like one day we were just sitting around kicking and he was like, damn, you know what? We pretty much grew up the same way. Our lives were very, very similar, you know what I'm saying? My pops did 45 years at four. His dad did a 42 years or 46 years of Chrysler, you know what I'm saying? They smoked, my parents smoked. He had a sister and, you know, I had a couple sisters and, you know, my neighborhood wasn't much different from his. So it was like, damn, we pretty much damn near alike. Ain't no motherfucking difference really. You know what I'm saying? But his neighborhood was predominantly white, probably 99% white, like man was 99% black. And we just didn't have the mixture of of, of um, races and cultures like they do in a lot of other cities, you know what I'm saying? And believe it or not, metropolitan Detroit is still one of the most segregated cities there is. You know what I'm saying? We ain't nothing like LA or uh, New York, you know what I'm saying? Where, you know, black folks and white folks live and fucking date and all that stuff on the regular, you know? It's still, you still get some dirty ass looks from some black women, you walking around with a white girl. 